Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay guys, so last night my aunt got into town, my aunt Tina, we have had the best time so far. Her, my mom, myself, and Jason, we did not stop laughing last night, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking about what we were laughing over. Anyways, guys, we're not back to talk about that. We're back to talk about the fact that we also got our new episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, our finale. I think that this season has been a completely lackluster season. Um, I really kind of think they need Lisa Renna back at this point, but we're going to talk about it. Especially because Kyle Richards pretty much just told us that Mauricio is a cheater. Here we go. Okay, guys, so you know that it's obviously no secret. We've been talking about it for quite some time, especially the Kyle Richards Mauricio dynamic, not really knowing where do we stand? Where are we going from here? Are you dating Morgan Wade? Or are you not? Because now you have her at Watch What Happens Live. It looks so awkward. She's literally putting her hand around your waist. Like, you guys look coupled up. It doesn't look awkward. I, I think I'm not using my terminology right. Um, I'm not labeling things right. No, fuck it. It looks awkward. It looks awkward because we're being told that it's one thing, that it seems like it's definitely another thing. And yes, I think I can say that looks awkward. I feel uncomfortable about the awkwardness that I am feeling like I am witnessing. So yes, I get to say it looks awkward. I'm not saying a same-sex couple is awkward. That is me. I identify as a same-sex couple. But what I'm saying is, for us to sit here and try to feel like it's not something that we all kind of feel it is, that part is awkward. Now to it. <laughs> okay. So thank you to page six. Kyle Richards says that things happened in her marriage to Mauricio Umansky that made her lose trust. She wasn't able to recover. So she's shedding more light on what drove a wedge between her and Mauricio. There were things that happened that made me lose my trust and I wasn't able to recover from. Is what she admitted in a confessional during Wednesday's season 13 finale. Now, Kyle didn't reveal the events that led her to feeling that way. But during Wednesday's episode of Watch What Happens Live, Andy Cohen said that Kyle will reveal much more during the three-part reunion that kicks off on February 28th. Whatever happened between Kyle and Mauricio, it was seemingly so bad that she admitted there's a big chance that we're not going to end up together. Now, in July of 2023, sources told People Magazine that Mauricio and Kyle have been separated for a while but maintained an amicable dynamic living under the same roof. They later released a statement saying any rumors of an impending divorce were untrue. Still, they fully admitted that they had a tough year and they were working through their issues. Since then, they've said that they're not throwing in the towel on their marriage. They're not heading towards divorce yet. But Kyle's words during Wednesday's episode didn't obviously feel hopeful. Now, Kyle Richards also spoke about the heartbreaking separation with her co-star Erica and denied that cheating played a part. I think the hardest part about what we're going through is that there isn't one big, huge thing. That's the hardest part for me. There's these things that I've been, you know, needing and wanting more from my marriage that I just can't get. She also said there's literally nothing to do with anybody else. It, it, it has nothing to do with it. This is really just about Mo and me. It's not about our family. It's not about external family. It's not about another person on his side or my side. This is just about Mo and me. And she admitted last week that her and Mauricio decided that they could each pursue other relationships during their separation and also reflected on how their marriage used to work so well after tying the knot in their 20s. When we first met, we were really opposites. And that worked. Mm. You know, I would always joke that if it wasn't for me, he'd be dead because I keep him safe. And if it wasn't for him, I would never take chances in life. And that worked. Kyle also detailed during the episode how difficult it was to tell their four daughters about their split because they had tried to keep their issues hidden from them. When the news came out, they thought that the rug had been pulled out from underneath them because things are worse than we let on to be. And Mauricio also sat down with the girls, Alexia, Sophia, Portia, while filming season two of Buying Beverly Hills, which premieres in March. And in a preview clip, 
The family gets emotional as Mauricio explains that he and Kyle would be leading separate lives. And the agency founder also confirms that she initiated their split. But the pair tied the knot back in 1996. And as you guys know, they've been on the show ever since it started. Now, I want to go ahead and turn this over. You know what I, th I think is kind of funny, too, is like he's saying that she initiated the split, but she's saying that there was something that he did that she can't recover from. So if you, in fact, cheated, which is obviously there was some sort of cheating, whether it was emotional, mental, physical, social media, I don't know, but there was some element of cheating at this point because that's, well, essentially what she's saying. And you're saying that she initiated the split. That part doesn't make sense to me because if you initiated cheating with somebody and then she initiated the split, then ultimately you were the one who initiated the split. You guys see what I'm saying? But wait, we're not done here. No, no. Dorit Kimsley was talking about why it's been difficult to support Kyle Richards. So thank you to Reality Blurb. Dorit struggled to support Kyle Richards amid her marital issues with Mauricio during the 13th season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So while attending the People's Choice Awards on Sunday night in Santa Monica, Dorit opened up about the divide between her and Kyle, revealed where she stands with Garcelle, and expressed hope for Lisa Renna's return to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So during a February 18th interview with Access Hollywood, Dorit, who did not pose with her castmates on the green carpet, revealed if there was anyone that she did not want to see at the event. She said, no, I've been doing it long enough that you can see anyone and you can let bygones be bygones and be okay. That said, she and Kyle definitely had to talk about after a lot to talk about after their season 13 falling out, which came um, right around the same time that Kyle was getting a little bit close to Morgan Wade. Kyle and I definitely have had some conversations, you know, and I know it's necessary. When you're close, it's inevitable that if you have some highs and lows, that's going to happen. This year was strange, both independently for us and also for our friendship collectively. So, yeah, it was inevitable. We've had, you know, to have some, we've had to hash some things out. According to Dorit, it wasn't easy to support Kyle through her marriage drama with Mauricio because she was unaware of what was actually happening between them. When you care about somebody, it's not about knowing all of the details. It's about really feeling like they know they can always lean on you. You want to also defend, but when you have the full picture and you don't have a good understanding, it's difficult. But you have to wait for your friends to open up and feel comfortable. Now, while Kyle didn't share with Dorit in the way that Dorit expected, Dorit said that when it comes to their relationship, she believes that she and Kyle will always end up landing on their feet. I love her. I know she loves me. You know, I, I hate that we're not great. I know she hates it too. So you'll have to see. But following a rough 13 season, Kyle also hinted at a potential break from the show. I think whatever feels right is the right move for her. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. I think we all have those moments. And I'm sure Kyle has said and felt that way before. But here she is. She's still around. So I think you have to kind of have a little bit of distance. And then you have a new perspective. And we'll see. Huh. Okay. Now, moving on to the tension with Garcelle, Dorit confirmed that she's open to repairing that friendship. She said, I'm always open to get past anything, and I like Garcelle. I never saw us or felt us having an issue, but you need two people to feel that way, so my heart is always open to it, and it really depends on her. She also wants Lisa Renner to come back. She said, don't I wish. I love Lisa. I loved being on the show with her. I always will, and if that's meant to be, I'll be welcoming her with open arms. Okay, Renna. Renegade Renna. Now, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are, especially because based off of what Kyle Richards said, am I the only one who feels like this is alluding to the fact that there was obviously an affair or some element of cheating, whether it was mental, emotional, physical, whatever? Pop off in the comments, smash that like button, show some love, let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time.